guys something that when you start off in Cold War Zombies that you guys aren't going to know about um, till you're about prestige or I don't know probably level 50 and above sometimes so you, you might get it if you look carefully um, but you see if you go to your class um, you, you see the weapons up top, you see the weapons next to play, you go to all these, you see all these, you don't know what they are. Now, if you go to, ex you can go to anyone first, but let's start with the bottom. Okay, wait. Uh, no, it's skills first, my bad. Okay, now these are going to help you with your in-game zombie matches, which are going to help a lot. Uh, weapon classes, which means it can help you out with your weapons that you use. Any any weapon that you use, it's going to become up with a weapon class. Field upgrades, so your special ability, it will help out a lot. I'm using the healing one, which can when my enemy when my um, friendlies are down, I can revive them just by using it. But it's going to take a while to cool down, so that's going to that's a little bit bad. And the perks, all the perks that are in, you can also upgrade them as well, like custom. Like, see what I mean? You can also use your crystals to customize your things, which will make them so much better for you. Hang on, I've just got to... There we go. All my perks are now fully upgraded. Yep, six pack, there we go. Um, you can customize all your perks. It will be so helpful for you in game. You can customize Juggernaut. Um, as you can see, increase maximum health by 50. Um, reduces status effects uh, duration by uh, 50%. Armor plates repelish uh, 25% additional armor. Increase maximum health by 100. So that will help out you a lot. Juggernaut and Deadshot are the main ones I get quickly. So Juggernaut's first and then I get Deadshot. And then I just get uh, Stamina for third. And then I just get the rest. Um, so after you've done upgrading your perks, then good. Uh, you can also get these, one of these. They will help you out a lot. I don't know what they are. Um, but, oh, ammo mods. Oh, okay. So I didn't know this, but this perk, where is it? This one, element pop tier. Elemental, sorry. Pop tier. Shit, my chest hurt for a second. Um, every bullet has one small chance to apply a random base ammo mode effect. You see? This can shoot any bullet, but it can't spray any bullet. So if you go to ammo modes, it should be one of these perks. So that will help you out a lot. You can do brain rot, you can do pretty much any of them I in my personal opinion I don't like brain rot I've tried it I don't like it my favorite is napalm burst but the rest I haven't tried yet so I'm gonna have to give them a try field upgrades let's check these out see mine's already maxed out so I'll let you look at that Uh, Ring of Fire, that's going to help you with the enemies. Uh, Arthur Shroud, uh, that's also going to be helpful. Hold on. Uh, that's going to be... Oh, this is going to help you out a lot because you're going to become invisible. Like... The zombies won't be able to see you when you're using this. So if you max this out, it's going to come helpful to you. Energy mine. Ah, uh, this is going to create a mine. So when they come to you and they step on this or something, it's going to like... Bam. Frostbite. This is a common one that people like to use, but not really. Barely see it. So that's it. Now let's look at the weapon glasses that I've been telling you about. All these weapon classes have a different sort of... Um, attack... How do I say this? A different sort of info at the bottom of it. See, right now I'm using a submachine gun MP5 with a shotgun. I think it's an MASA-12, I think, called. Um, obviously, you can go with any of them. 
you can choose to customize which one you want first. I'm doing SMG because I really want that um, dark matter crystal that I like. Um, so just customize it all you want. It will help you out guys a lot. It's really helpful. Um, you can see I'm trying to customize this MP5. It's good in Cold War, Multiplayer, and Zombies, um, but you need to pack a punch. You'll probably pack a punch at round 12, so that's gonna be helpful for you guys. Um, the XM4 is also good for Cold War. Give me a second, please. Wolf! What's up, man? How you doing, Wolf? Um, so if you guys go to the MP5 and this is, if you guys want to know, like a really good MP5 attachment, um, class, sorry, not attachments, uh, for muzzle, I go with the sound suppressor, so they don't know where I'm shooting on in the map, uh, barrel, I go with a 9.5 ranger, no body, no optic, under barrel, I go with a field agent grip, magazine, I go with a 40 round drum magazine, and handle, I go with the speed tat, speed tape, uh, no stock, no body, and no optic, of course. Um, if you can see, multiplayer is going to be quite hard for you. Um, if you do use um, MP5 and you try, but you could get some of these good camos that I already have. Um, but that's if you want to. Um, you can also unlock these. Um, the top kills that you have to get to get this camo is get 2,500 kills with the MP5 and zombies. Um, that's probably, wait, uh, what's this one, wait, critical hits, okay, uh, this one is going to take a while because you have to kill these big guys, which is going to be annoying for you guys, um, now when you pack a punch, you also get a camo on it, but you don't get to keep the camo, but if you have a camo already on it, you won't be able to see the pack a punch, but you will pack a punch. That sounds so confusing. <laughs> it really is. Um, so yeah. Now if you guys can see at the bottom left of my screen, there's gonna be, you'll see a purple crystal thing. Every map, every match you play, you get one of those. But not just one single, you play one match and you get one. Um, you reach a certain amount of rounds, or you do something and you get it. And you can also upgrade your perk, so it's going to take you a while to fully upgrade everything, but it's worth it. Trust me, it's going to be way easier for you to go on with your games and that. Um, but it's like usual. Um, well, I guess that's the end of the video, because I only wanted to show you guys about half the things that you guys didn't know when you first get Cold War and you come into zombies. That's basically it. Um, so, just a reminder... You can upgrade all your classes, your ammo modes. Your ammo modes only work for one thing. They only work for one thing. I don't know if you need a perk for that, for this, but I'm guessing you do because it says ammo modes and a perk is also for ammo mode as well. So I'm guessing there's a perk for it as well. Um, field upgrades also help you with your in a game things this is going to help you out a lot so i really do suggest upgrading this first before you upgrade anything else this is going to help you first um when your allies are down it will uh, it will revive them straight back up like you don't need any of your teammates to go revive them just use your special ability it will also max out your health back to its original place like it normally does even when you don't upgrade it but that's about it and I guess that's the end of the video. If you guys do want to see how to get pack a punch, I will make that the next video to do in the next video. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you guys drop a like down below. Subscribe to my video. It helps me out a lot. So much, guys. We had 30 subscribers. I appreciate it so much. If we can get 40, I will be doing a giveaway. I promise you on that, I will be doing a giveaway. Um, comment down below if you guys want to see me play some uh, multiplayer or if you guys want to see a campaign walkthrough of my, of my, like, type of, you know, satisfaction of the campaign. But if you guys have any ideas on what I should play, let me know down below. 
Um, but I guess I should stop the chit chat and just end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. But that is all you need to know uh, when you do you get in here. But if you want to pack a punch, let me know. But I will also make a video for it as well, just in case. So people that don't watch my videos can watch it when they search it up on how to get pack a punch. Um, but that's it. Well, see.